Hey guys, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to uh, day two of this van build. Uh, as you can see behind me, I've already stuck the soundproofing mats all over the van now, and it does make a remarkable difference. Uh, I did a, a drive around before, and I put them all on, and I did a drive around afterwards, and I really, really noticed how, um, how quieter the back of the van was, um, and that's with no additional insulation. So that's a really good thing. So today, doing some really scary stuff, cutting holes in the van, and I, I, I didn't really want to do it on my own, so I got someone in here to hold my hand, the man who knows how to do things like this. And, Couldn't uh, turn up, so I came instead. <laughs> <laughs> so Austin is here. No, his name right. I keep, I keep calling him Damon, I don't know why. Um, so anyway, Austin is here, and uh, we have been busy, as you may see above my head, we've been cutting holes in the van. Not just one, but da, 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 two. We have two holes in the van. And I must admit, this is a surprisingly soft steel. Uh, we got through this really quite easily, didn't we? But yeah, it looks pretty messy at the moment. We've had to like flatten out these ribs uh, in order to uh, get everything uh, to fit. So basically what we're gonna be doing is putting this roof light on. Dun, dun, dun. And, uh, yep. And we've got surround built down there, which is gonna go on the underside. And uh, I was gonna make a video log before we started, but I just completely forgot. So uh, we're sort of like halfway in. So now we're literally just about to start gluing them, putting them on, and then hopefully the, window, the windows have now arrived. So hopefully we might get a window or two in as well today but we'll wait and see. So uh, that's where we're at in the moment. I shall come back to you um, when we've made some progress. <laughs> Bye from Damon. <laughs> so. Okay, it is the end of day two and the roof lights are in and working. And uh, we're quite, oh, you can't really do it one-handed. Um, but uh, they're both in, hopefully sealed. Obviously we'll find out in the next rainstorm. Um, it's been really, been really knackering day hasn't it but productive <laughs> we haven't got any windows in but we have got the one thing that was worrying me um, we've got that done now and that's um, on these side panels you've got these uh, these strengthening bars and we needed to remove one uh, or three of them actually um, in order to be able to put the window in there now we never actually got time to do the window today because we we've got to um, go and get some wood we're just about to go off now and uh, get some uh, wood from Wix so that we can make a frame up tomorrow and then we'll do it tomorrow. But I was able to get uh, like a, a sharp knife uh, behind uh, the strengthening bar and it cut through it like a hot knife through butter. It was perfect. Uh, so, and then we just angle gr ground, angle ground. Can't say angle grinded, can you? No. What's so the where you come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you <laughs> angle ground them out. You or, get away with it in Bristol. Yeah, or, or, oh, you angle yeah. grinded off. <laughs> you angle grinded it off. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Austin very kindly did the angle grinding for me. So um, there's another one there, and then obviously the one on the side door as well. Angle grinded it. Grinded it. Angle grinded it. But yeah, in order to fit these new windows, we're gonna have a, a, a certain size of wood uh, like to go around it. So we're gonna go off to and get really, similar, similar, but not quite. Um, this is just a little bit too thick, but we got a sample of wood with us so we can figure it out. So that's it for um, today, but we're gonna carry on tomorrow. So this video will carry on in a second. Okay, good morning. It is the next day and now comes the really scary part. We're going to start drilling a hole or cutting window holes um, in the thing. Yeah, here's our window. <laughs> Actually, that's just the surround to go around the window. And um, so, uh, yeah, we've, we've drawn it on and we're, we're basically just going to start uh, cutting. These are the windows we're going to be fitting. These are uh, known as seats windows and double glazed. And uh, they've got the backing German thing. Manufacturing. Yeah, they're German made, and they've got the window blinds uh, already built in and everything. So um, we thought they were going to be more complicated to fit than they appear, but this is before the job. So we'll get back to you in a moment when we've started cutting holes and started fitting things. So wish us luck. <laughs> there we go. First window is in, and. Uh, Oh, he's locked it. <laughs> Let's uh, 
get this man to unlock it. There we go. And it's up on goes up on little pistons. Hello. Hello. Uh, so you got these little stay things. I'm not sure how. Oh, that's as far as it goes. But what I'm going to do? Funny, I'm going to pull this off. And I'm going to film it. So. <laughs> Actually, that's a really good idea. Yeah, just to protect it. When you put spray glue on it, oh, and you don't spray yeah. glue all over the glass. Yeah. Because I got a t shirt for that one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'll leave those on until we finish, finish with the spray glue. But on the inside, look, it's, it's gone on really well. So basically, you've got a built in blind uh, which you can put at various levels for whatever reason, and you've got a fly screen which goes on like that to keep oh. the bugs out and yeah it's basically uh, all you needed to do was build this burgers and chips twice thing. please <laughs> <laughs> do you want fries with that yes please <laughs> um yeah really really pleased and it was fairly straightforward to put on as well all we needed to do was build this wooden frame and uh, when you do your screws up it pulls it all together uh, so that um it, it's really nice and tight fit so very very happy with that so we're gonna have a little bit of lunch and then i think we're gonna work on uh, possibly the one on the other side <laughs> putting the primer around the window yeah we've just cut a hole in the the driver's side so because um, we can and it, we haven't got a window for it we just, yeah, we yeah. A hole. it's kind of think of it like a convertible you know yeah it's, it's weather so beautiful <laughs> Because that's it. I mean, you get a brand new van. What else are you going to do? With yeah. it? You've got to just cut a big hole in the side. I can't believe it. This is like, yeah. It, it, the first, the first one was the scariest, but this one we, we, we felt quite proficient at it, didn't we? It didn't take long we at feel all. Like proper professionals now. <laughs> now we've done one. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we're just going to glue glue the next window in, and then it's just the third little window to be done. And originally, I was going to put it here, but I've actually decided to put it on the kitchen side because it means I can um, look out of the uh, the kitchen window <laughs> when I need to. Um, <laughs> so. There we go. Right, we're going to get on with those, and then once once those three windows are done, that's pretty much all the scary stuff done. So, um... <laughs> okay, so we're here at the other end of the uh, cutting holes segment. We now have five gaping great big holes in the van. Uh, we've got one there. We've got one on this side, uh, both the same size. Then we've got another little window here, and of course the two roof lights um, which oh I'm gonna open one now there we go so uh, oh, I feel that fresh air. yeah I can feel the breeze <laughs> straight away but we've got the other roof light there so very very happy the way it's gone it's still a bit rattly at the moment since we've uh, exposed all these uh, door locks and everything that was me sorry and uh, <laughs> That's yeah, right. Have well, that, have that, have they, problem. They've got to be exposed anyway, because now the next stage is to do the insulation, and that's all going to be arriving uh, tomorrow. And then I'm going to get cracking with this. And literally, all I'm going to be doing for insulation is I'm going to be using that um, begins with S, Celotex. That's the one. Begins with C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be using Salatex, which is like a rigid, um, like foam board type thing with silver coating on it. So I should be using 50 millimeters in the walls. I should be putting ribs down on the floor and putting 25 mil thick uh, Salatex on the floor before I then put the wooden floor that came with the van down. Uh, again, more 50 mil uh, Salatex in the walls here and 25 millimeter Salatex on the ceiling. And we've managed to make these uh, frameworks in line or line up with the height of uh, the ribs. And what's going to happen, the Celotex will be stuck to the ceiling and then I'm going to be using uh, cladding uh, to do the ceiling because it's going to be much, much easier than trying to handle massive great big sheets of, of like plywood. Um, if you can just do it one strip at a time, it should be really, really straightforward. Um, but before I can do that, I'm still waiting for my conduit uh, Cable, cable conduit to arrive because I need to feed that in behind uh, some of these panels. Um, now for the little nooks and crannies, these little places here, I've got this, um, it's like a, a, a fibrous wool that's made from recycled plastic bottles. And I'm gonna be stuffing it into all of the little areas that uh, I can't get any of these Salatex in. 
Um, any areas that um, I can't get this stuff into, which I don't think there are many, um, but I may may use the expanding foam. I'm not sure yet. I still have reservations about that. Um, I, I think, to be honest, I will get away with being able to stuff this stuff pretty much everywhere it's got to be. Um, so I think we're, we're okay. So that's where we stand with the van build uh, in this kind of part two. Um, so we're basically ready to move on to the insulation and uh, that hopefully will be covered in the next video. So that is it from me. And that's it from, me. That's it from Austin. <laughs> there he is, I was going out in the window. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, I hope this was useful to you. Do feel free to leave notes in the comments below uh, on any hints, tips and ideas and uh, what you think of the video series so far and I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye! <laughs>